Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here. All right, so today I have put together a little team that I was working on before in the past, and I am just out to hunt water. As everyone knows, Astrius is just taking the War of the Visions world by storm and wrecking pretty much everything in his path. And so I figured that I would go back to a team that I was working on before and uh, have some fun basically hunting him down. Uh, I did two fights already, so today's video will only be three PvP arena fights. We're in roughly the top uh, 1500. I'll show you guys a quick setup. Esther is essentially the same as I had her before. She's looking pretty strong, uh, almost at 1500 attack, 107 agility. Uh, the passives are looking pretty good. I'm slowly working on them, um, but it's not quite done yet, so she will even be stronger than this. I'm running Cloud with Rob's TMR for the uh, CT up at the beginning and the slash attack. Uh, his attack is looking pretty strong as well, and I have the Exorcist card on him. Um, and then lastly, I'm running Elena. Uh, honestly, I think that you could kind of sub in different people here. I didn't want to run a full uh, mono lightning comp. I like the yin yang teams, and I really like Elena as a character in the game. Um, you could run her with Stella Maris instead of the evasion buff, which I have on right here, Evildoers Beware. Uh, but I do like the AP consumption, uh, the, the fact that it lowers AP consumption. And the thing with Stella Maris is that sometimes uh, she will use it and then seek out another person to use it on and then not use Courage. So I really want her to have Courage on. So that being said, let's get into it. All right, so here we have a full 120 mono water team. It's Eldira, Celis, and Astrius. Uh, I've fought one of these teams before, especially with the AoE resist card on Eldira, that, Eldira right there. And it is very tanky. So let's just chase after it and see how it goes. All right, let's go. Okay, so Elena kicking it off with Courage. Essentially, she's like a one-shot. Asterisk will one-shot her basically every time. Um, but uh, with the Courage, she still is able to get a hit off, and she's Elena, so she does good damage no matter what. All right. Cloud coming in with the Keenblade TMR. Esther goes after Celis. That was pretty tanky. That's one of the tankiest. This is one of the tankiest Celis I've fought. Only 3,500 from Esther is pretty insane. Cloud comes in with Ascension. We'll see how that does. Only 2789. Wow, water is pretty gnarly right now. Okay, Astrius gets off Courage. This is gonna be tough. Eldira comes in with the heal. Esther goes for the limit break. Okay, that did better. Still trying to stay alive. This hit that's coming up from Astrius right now is gonna freaking hurt. Oh, nice. Elena's able to take down Celis. Cloud throws on the Punisher buff. Now this is gonna hurt. We'll see what happens right here. Ah, uh, Cloud throwing the signature reflex. Elena's on courage. Oh, and it looks like oh, Elena with the clutch evasion right there. Okay, I'm pretty sure that Esther does not have courage on. Wow, that pressing advantage was absolutely clutch right there for Astrius. All right, going for the limit break on Cloud. And the Crystal Tracer takes him down. Absolutely brutal. And then Ildira follows in. All right, so even with a, with basically two strong lightning characters, Water was able to hold up right there. That's actually the first time I've lost to a Water team with this comp setup. Um, that pressing advantage from Astrius was the whole fight right there. If that hadn't have gone off, I think that we would have won. So it is pretty close. Let's keep chasing him and see how we do on the next one. All right, that one only has a 115 asterisk, so we'll search for 120s. Another one, 115. Here we go. Let's try this one. All right. Wow, that was a close fight. But it's definitely fun hunting him. Especially, like, it's just crazy how strong he is as a unit. Like, literally just perfect kit across the board. SS counter, 
SS passives, SS main uh, main job, like just super fun uh, to try and put together a team to take him down. Hopefully, when lightning comes out, we'll get like a lightning version of Astrius. All right, so let's see. Esther going in with her limit break. Does a good amount of damage. Cloud goes Punisher. And Elena is going to use her Evildoer's Beware buff. Okay, so now we're going to have to take the onslaught of damage coming in right now. See how Astrius does with his limit break against Esther. Pretty good tankiness. Wow, the freaking Crystal Tracer did almost as much as the actual ability itself. Okay, Esther coming in strong. Elena following up. Celis is going to drop. And it looks like Cloud is going to be able to take down Astrius right now. Okay, so now it's just Cloud. He's going to get one hit off. Puts Elena onto Courage. But it is not going to be enough. And Titus drops. Alright, so now we're down to rank 1200. We are 1-1. One one. Hopefully we can find one last team for the day. Let's see how it goes. I think Esther is definitely the crucial part of this team. Um, I don't have Ibarra or Renan, so I can't really do um, other tests against Astrius, but uh, she is definitely holding up really well against him, especially with her physical damage mitigation. Now that's an interesting yin yang comp. Might come back to that. Let's just keep looking for mono water. Those are 115s. I think we might try, try that one. Let's just see what else is here. No. Okay, here's the same team we fought the first time. It's an Aerith, um, Celis, Astrius. We lost to that team. Or do we want to go for Summer Elseral with the 119 Celis? Um, let's try fighting a different team since we already fought Aerith. This is 119, but she already has the 120 ability, I imagine. I think uh, she's just not leveled up from 119 to 120, so it should be pretty dang close. Okay, let's go. Alright, so Elena kicks it off with Courage. Astrius is going to run out, use the Deep Fortification buff. Esther is going to run, run on forward and use Bells. It's pretty gnarly, because like, Water was kind of struggling there for a minute, and it was just like, Astrius drops, and it was just like the whole world turned upside down. And it's now like... Like, I wish I would have recorded that one. I fought this team that was Ildira, Astrius, and Celis, and it was, like, ungodly powerful. So tanky. Astrius was so tanky. Celis was insanely tanky. It was just mind-blowing how strong the team could be. All right, Celis coming in. Okay, so it looks like she's going to cast Water Gaw. Cloud's going to run in and take out Celis. Oh, she survived. Astrius is going to throw the limit break on Esther. Hopefully she survives this. Does a good amount of damage. She does survive. Okay. Unfortunately... Oh, luckily she can hit Astrius and Celis from there. Elena is going to run over to Summer Elseral. She survives. Whoo, that did a lot. Astrius is going to run in, chases Elena, throws her onto Courage. The Crystal Tracer takes her down, and it, now it is Cloud versus the two of them. Looks like Astrius is down. Elsorel is going to get one hit on Cloud. He does his signature Soldier First Class reflex and takes her down for the win. All right, but it was still close. I mean, like, considering that we're fighting element that we have the advantage over with two of the three characters like that just goes to show how gnarly wind or water is right now but uh yeah so we were able to win two of the three fights uh the first one was very close i really think it came down to that prescient advantage counter from astrius but uh yeah, it's definitely been really fun um, <laughs> going into Arena and fighting these different teams 
So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely had fun uh, putting this together and trying out this comp. I love all three of these characters, so I'm glad I get to uh, use them in some PvP arena matches still. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and take care and peace.